Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. This is our own Honda Ridgeline year 2006, first year of this generation with 226,000 miles on the odometer. And in this video I will be replacing the starter. So if you want to see how it's done on this generation of Ridgeline, stay with me in this video. Starters are directly hooked to the battery through the positive terminal. One of these cables, wires is coming direct to the starter is this one. So I have to make sure I disconnect the battery. I'm Toyota Tech and I work in metric. This is Honda, it should be metric. I'm assuming it's a 10 millimeter. And sure enough, 10 millimeter nut. On the terminal, negative terminal, I can wiggle it off and put it safely on the side to make sure I have plenty of space and visibility around the starter area. I will move this plastic cover. You turn these three fasteners, one of them is missing. You turn them just and that allows you to remove the whole thing. Now, where is the starter? So this is starter solenoid and this is the starter body itself right next to this automatic transmission dipstick I have two on the back right here and these cooling hoses are in my way I will be pushing them slightly to the left I need to unhook two terminals the small one for a signal and a large one which goes to the battery looking on that new part can help us this is what we saw. We saw the solenoid and the starter. Here are coming these coolant hoses and they are covering that small terminal. That's a small wire so you just pull it off. And here the large one is held by that nut. So this will be done right now. Pushing coolant hoses to the left and dealing with these two. I will still try to show it to you on the vehicle. Let me use this pry bar and push away those hoses. I want it only you to see it. So do you see it there? That's the push on. And right behind it, there is that nut. And that's what I will be removing right now. Here may be the view the other way. When I push it to the left. So this is already, I pulled it off, disconnected. And here is the main nut, or that main wire, that's a 12 millimeter. I am perfectionist, so I will use this opportunity to start charging battery while I'm working on that starter replacement. This is a perfect opportunity to top it off and make sure the battery is in the best shape. Now I'm ready to undo the two main bolts holding the starter down. Do you see the 14 millimeter socket and the extension coming right here? This is the top bolt. This 3 8 ratchet will be enough to crack it loose. Let's see. Oh yeah. Yep. So now I can just continue with getting that bolt completely out. And this is the first one, the top bolt out. The bottom one is right below. I can we see just a little, yeah, little hint of it? We can. What's about from here? Yeah, do you see that 40 millimeter right there? So that's the bottom on the starter. Meanwhile, the charger tells me that the battery is topped off its 100% and I can disconnect the charger. Maybe this ratchet with that 14 millimeter shows you better the location of that lower bolt. I got that lower bolt all the way out. Let's see how easy 
we will be uh, get it started out. These coolant hoses, as we discussed, are a pain. Also, there is that holder. She's kind of sharp on it. But so far, I'm being careful. So far, it's slowly coming. As I said, it's the wire support bracket. And the sharp edges. I'm <laughs> fully aware of that. I don't want to cut that coolant hose just like a pick open. You have to be careful about it. This one. Do you see it? This is sharp. That good guy cut one of those hoses immediately. And guess what? As we expected, this is original Honda starter it was never replaced and the problem is most likely here in that solenoid it aged and it's just time to get a new one another angle when I can hold the camera here you can see the old gasket metal gasket which just fell there while I work on it you can see inside can you oh yeah you see that that's the location of the starter here's the new starter and that new gasket which was supplied with it there was a bunch of dirt around that opening so I cleaned that off so the new starter is in the place it's just sitting on these two double pins what I did of the camera that gasket kept falling off as I was lowering it down there so I really quickly used the super glue in two spots to hold it on body of the starter so it's correctly installed down there I can put back the bolts and torque them Now I have the bottom one tied. I will come back to the top one and the main bolts will be successfully installed and the starter is in the place. Excellent. So now I just have to Put back the wiring, the clamps, dipstick, hook the battery, and it will be all finished. Okay, everything is back in the place. Let's see if our repair was successful. I wonder if that new starter sounds any different. No, I will say typical Honda sound. I like it. That means everything is good. This new part I bought online from 1.8 Auto. It's a TRQ product and here is the number for it. It even came with a test, test report which shows it passed and it was ready for shipment. And here is the starter which we have just removed from the Honda. I'm pretty sure most of you will agree with me, it's original, it was never changed. I just wish there is a way to recycle it. I wish there is a rebuilder around us and I can drop it off there, sell it to him for a car or something like that. I just don't want to waste stuff and this seems to be totally fine except there might be need to rebuild that solenoid it was giving that very rare intermittent no start 
I really hope many of the Honda owners will find this video helpful. If you do, please give a thumb up, please subscribe, have notification on so you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.